Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today I would like to share an important message to you. Two days back while I was praying, I subconsciously uttered this, these words. For each and every individual, there is a heaven or a hell waiting for us after death. Let me repeat that again. For each and every individual, there is a heaven or a hell waiting for us after death. Now, we, we all would like to make it to heaven, um, but we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. You know, we are going through this COVID season, so many people passed away, and we have the third wave approaching. It is only purely by God's grace that you and I are alive and we are still breathing. So what I want to say is, on the day of judgment, do you want the Lord to look at you and say, well done, good and faithful servant, which you can find this in Matthew chapter 25, verse 23. Do you want the Lord to look at you and say, well done, good and faithful servant? Or do you want the Lord to look at you and say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of lawlessness, which is iniquity or sins. And I even found another scripture which I want to share with you. But before I share that scripture, first let me share the first two scriptures that I just shared with you. Let me read that scriptures again. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 23, his master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, and I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 23, then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I thought that Matthew 7, 23, I never knew you. I thought that was the, the most scary scripture. But I happened to find another scary scripture, which you can find this in Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and for his angels. Now, if you look at the life of a prisoner, he does not have the freedom like us. He's not a free man. He cannot go anywhere and everywhere. He is confined to a cell and that should be with the children of God. We have to be confined to a cell of holiness and righteousness with Christ. We cannot be like the people of this world. We cannot do what they're doing. We cannot enjoy the things that they enjoy. You know, there are a lot of children of God who are into partying, who are into gossiping, who are into backbiting, uh, slandering, idle talk, spreading false rumors, a lot of things, a lot of ungodly activities. We just cannot be a part of that, part of what the world is doing. We have to separate ourselves from the world and not be involved in what the world does. Our life must be controlled and ruled by God and we must obey the commandments of the Lord. Our flesh must be chained away by the programs of this world, by the pleasures of this world, by the desires of this world, by the temptations of this world, addictions of this world, entertainment, a lot of entertainment from this world. Our flesh has to be chained away from all these things. Everything, every ungodly activities, we have to stay away from these things. We are in this world, but not of this world. You know, I would like to share uh, a funny vision. This is really funny to me. Uh, this is really funny to me. Um, this was many years back. I had this vision. I see this guy in a room with a couple of healthy cows. And he's trying to push these cows through a narrow exit. And it's impossible for him to do it because these cows are extremely healthy. They're very fat and healthy. And the funny thing is, he's trying to push two, three cows at a time through this narrow exit. And these cows are very stubborn, very rebellious. They don't want to go through that exit door. They don't want to go. They're resisting. And so one particular cow jumps from this pack and he looks at this guy. He gives that look. Like, you know what? I'm not going through that exit door. I don't want to go. And, you know, and this, and that was the end of the vision. I asked the Lord, like, this vision is funny. What is this vision? What is it, Lord? 
And then the Lord explained to me, he said, that man is you. You are trying to push your family through this narrow way, which is heaven. But you're not willing to get into it. You know, you're not willing to get into that narrow way. And when the Lord said that to me, I immediately turned back to see if there is anyone that can push me because if I'm too busy pushing them, I'm too scared where I will fall down, you know, and um, get into the fires of hell, which I really don't want. I don't want to get into hell. And I needed somebody to push me at the back. And I know this is a very funny vision, but please, my people, if you miss heaven, then there is no way for you to miss hell. And uh, please work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Because this is what the Lord said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few there will find it. The way to heaven is extremely narrow. That does not allow anything of our past, anything of the world, or any kind of sin attached to us. We cannot enter into that narrow way, only the cross. If you are someone who is chasing the worldly pleasures or um, um, anything to do with the world, anything to do with ungodly activities, you cannot make it to heaven. So we have to separate ourselves from the world and everything that belongs to the world, every kind of ungodly activities. Just separate yourself from it and live your life of holiness and righteousness. That's what God desires His children to do. And let me end with a scripture. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you're not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. As I was talking about the, the prisoner, the way he's confined to his cell, we as a prisoner of Jesus Christ, we too must be confined to the cell of holiness and righteousness with Christ. That should be the attitude of every believer in Christ. And we have to separate ourselves from every worldly activities. We are not supposed to be a part of the world, but into the word of God. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please remember, please remember this. After we leave this world, there is a heaven or a hell waiting for you and for me. So please, as long as you're living this world, remember to live for Christ. Say no to sin. Choose to live in holiness and righteousness and ask the Lord to shine His light on every dark areas in our life so that we can correct ourselves and we can please the Lord and, you know, and live for Christ. And remember to share His word as well to the lost souls. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to stay in His word and be blessed.